Hey, good morning everyone, and welcome to the first ever episode of Pennsylvania Camping Ministries. My name is James Lee, and I will be, uh, I'll be your host. This is my new channel. Some of you may recognize me from my other YouTube channel. It's called Campaholics TV. I'm here to let you know that Campaholics TV is no longer. Scripture says, out of the ashes comes a new. This is the new. This is uh, where my heart is. Those of you that subscribe to my channel, Campaholics TV, I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you'll continue and subscribe to Pennsylvania Camping Ministries. If you do, I really appreciate it. And if you don't, I understand that also. This channel hopefully will be much different. You know, God will provide. And this is His will for me at the moment. He's put in my heart. Take your GoPro camera, your iMovie, and the creativity that I've given you, and use it for good to you know, carry my word. But this is what I'm called to do at the moment. And this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stay here, you know, as long as I need to. And obviously, you know, we're in the great outdoors. We're going to talk about camping. I will share anything that, you know, anybody wants me to, you know, about camping or, or, or you know, just being outdoors, you know. That's why I'm out here because this is home to me, you know. I absolutely love it here and I feel at peace here and, you know, this is where I've been placed. This channel is not just going to be me talking into the camera. I'm going to bring people to the campsite. I'm going to have them share their stories. You know, you know, life has not always been easy for me. It's been up and down and all around. And on July 12th of 2002, I surrendered to alcohol. And I haven't had a drink since then. I surrendered my will and my life over to the care of a higher power because that's what I had to do. I didn't have the willpower, the strength, to make this change in my life on my own. I knew that something outside of me had to do for me what I could not do for myself. You know, years have, have, have gone by since then. And again, weird, it was in July last year of 2013. I was at a church with my near and dear friend in Allentown. During that church service, the pastor asked, did anybody want to devote their life to their, their Lord and Maker, Jesus Christ. I rose, I went to the front of that church, I was called there, you know, I had lived, I believe that I had lived all the years that I have lived to get to that moment. He laid his hands on me and he prayed for me. And at that moment, I rededicated my life. My every morsel of my being, my insides, my outsides, to my Lord, my Heavenly Father. <laughs> It's been a trip since then, man. You know, it, it, it hasn't been easy. It definitely hasn't been easy. It's been a real uh, growth period for me, but uh, it's been uh, a rewarding uh, 11 months, to say the least. You know, my, my, my main focus is to continue to build that relationship between myself here and my Father in Heaven, to studying the Bible, to fellowshipping with other Christians, you're trying to be a good human being, I guess. I was reading something this morning, and I'll share it with you. And this is in the book of James. And this is in chapter 5. And it's right at the end. It's verses uh, 19 and 20 in this Bible. And it says, My brothers, if one of you should wander from the truth, and someone should bring him back, remember this. Whoever turns a sinner from the error of his ways will save him from death, and cover over a multitude of sins. Hmm. And therein, you know, lies the answer for me. I'm a sinner. I could be the biggest sinner of them all. I'm a wretch, just like you, just like everyone else. I'm a liar, a cheat, and a thief by nature. My faith has taught me that when I accepted Christ into my heart, that He died for my sins, and my sins are washed away. Nothing's perfect, no one's perfect. There's only one thing perfect in this universe and that's our Heavenly Father and that's this book and that's the word it's perfect it's the beginning of a new journey you know out of the ashes is born Pennsylvania Camping Ministries so I hope that uh, I will see you um, again next week 
Uh, my plan is to post a video every Wednesday. So if you check in on Thursday, there should be a video posted from Wednesday. It's exciting and uh, it's got my juices flowing and I'm really, really excited to be doing it out here in the woods. We all have the ability to know and carry this message. So, all right, listen, I'm out. I'm gonna pop the camper up, get myself set up. I really appreciate the time from me, James Lee, and everyone here. Well, there's actually no one else here, but from everyone behind the scenes at Pennsylvania Camping Ministries, we say uh, have a great day. God bless, keep the faith, and we'll talk to you next week. All right? All right.